As we read verse 8, uh, it proves that Jesus is God. Verse 7 says, Why doth this man thus speak blas blasphemous? For who can forgive sin but God only? Look at verse 8. And immediately, when Jesus perceived in his spirit that they were so reasoned within themselves, he said unto them, Why reason ye these things in where? Can I just say this to you? No prophet of God in any generation, no man can ever know the heart of a person but God. How did, how did Jesus know what was going on in their heart? They murmured. They reasoned within themselves. How did he know this? Because he's the God man. And God knows what's in your heart. God knows what's taking place in your thoughts. You know, God knows what you think of him. God knows what you think of his son. God knows what's stopping you from coming to Christ. If you haven't already. God knows how you feel about him. You know how many people feel, you know, uh, uh, you know hatred toward God? So, oh, wow, do, are there people out there that hate God? Millions and billions of them. They hate him. They can't stand him. Because if they were God, I'll do this and I'll do that and I'll do this and I'll do that and God will give me this and God will give me that. If they were God. See, it's almost like the mind of Lucifer. One that, you know, that wants to make an idol you know, like God in their heart. What do you want from God? What do you want from God? See, it's very subtle. God didn't give this to me. God didn't give me that. God didn't give me this. So therefore, I'm not going to seek him. Well, you didn't even seek him to begin with. And so what's happening now is that you're becoming a God. You want God to be at your beck and call. You want God to follow you. You want God to do what uh, you want him to do. Instead of saying, you know what, God? You gave me life. I don't even deserve to be here. I don't even deserve your forgiveness. I don't even deserve anything that you give. But you know what? I, I just want to follow you and I want to obey you. The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. You know, I'm just blessed just to even have you in my life, God. I'm just blessed to even that you would send your only begotten son to die for me. You didn't have to do that. See, when we think about what God has done and what he hasn't done for us, we then change the thinking to say God's a good God. He's a loving God. He's a caring God. And you know what? The devil's the evil one. He's the destroyer. We, this flesh, we make bad decisions that impact our life. We don't blame God for that. Well, I hope not. And so there are people that always feel a disdain taste for attitude toward him. They hate him. These Pharisees were kind of like, he's making himself God. He knew their hearts. He knew that they reasoned together. In Psalm 44 verse 30, uh, 21, Shall not God search this out? For he knoweth the secrets of the heart. And he, he does. And Jesus knew what was going on in their life. 